Hey everybody, this is Chase with Trick Tools, and today I wanted to talk about upgrading your manual tube bender to hydraulic. Uh, we offer several options as far as electric over hydraulic or air over hydraulic. Um, and what I have in front of me here is the Pro Tools upgrade kit. Um, if you don't have a Pro Tools bender and you're still looking to upgrade to hydraulic, uh, don't go anywhere, we can still help you out. All of these components, whether it's the RAM, the hose, um, the hydraulics themselves, we do sell separately. So um, give us a shout if you have a question about your bender, um, the, the model of it. There's still a really good shot that we're able to, uh, to get you what you need. Um, but as far as the brackets and the pins and some of the mounting hardware go, this one is specifically for the Pro Tools. Um, we have had some people in the past use them on other benders and maybe have some slight modifications to make them work. Um, but this one, I'm going to show you how to mount it, can put it together for you and do a little bit of a how-to video as well. Upgrading your manual tube bender is going to have a lot of benefits. Uh, first and foremost being efficiency. Whether it's the electric or air, it's going to really speed up the process of making bends. Another is going to be the ease of use. The air is going to use this foot operated pedal where the electric is going to use this handheld switch. So a lot easier than manually pulling and ratcheting each time you make a bend. Um, as far as some of the differences go between the electric and the air, uh, the air provides about 10,000 psi of force where the electric provides about 4,000. The tube bender only requires about 3,500 psi, so both of these will cover that. The electric is quite a bit faster than the air, but the air is going to be a little more inexpensive as well. The electric motor runs off of 110 power, so it can really be moved around fairly easily. The air is going to run off of an air hose with a fitting. If you have a big enough air compressor and it's really convenient for you to have it next to it, that may be a great option for you. But at the end of the day, it really comes down to personal preference and what's going to work best for your shop. If you are looking to upgrade to hydraulic, one great option that we offer is going to be the length of the cylinder. What I have in front of me here is a 14 inch cylinder and we do have an optional 18 inch cylinder. The biggest difference there is just going to be efficiency. With an 18 inch cylinder, you're going to be able to achieve a 90 degree bend with only repinning the forming die one time. The 14 inch cylinder doing a 90 degree bend, you may have to repin the forming die twice to achieve a 90 degree bend. So really what you're after there is just a little bit more efficiency, um, but both are going to have the same capacities and be able to get the job done. All right, so now we'll just kind of talk you through uh, each step of installing an electric over hydraulic kit onto this manual bender. Um, with each uh, kit that we sell, we do include a really nice instruction sheet. Everything that I am doing in this video will be in that instruction sheet as well. All right, so first things first, we're gonna start by removing our handle, which just slides right off, and then unpin our ratcheting arm, and then there is a small shaft collar on the bottom that we can loosen up and just slide out of the way. And then we can loosen up our bolt. When we pull that out, there should be spacers on either side. So you may just have to wiggle it out of the two arms. So next we can take our block, slip our sleeve inside, and then our shaft collar will go inside of that as well. And that can be slid in between the two arms. Put our washer and our bolt back in. Put our nut back on. And then once you snug that down, you can retighten your shaft collar. And then your adapter block there should float freely in between the arm. So next we're gonna slide and thread our cylinder into the recessed side of the block. Then we can remove the cap on the front of the cylinder here may need to pop that out with a screwdriver, but that one came out fairly easy. And then we can install our yoke and thread that into the cylinder. All right, next we're gonna install our bracket on the top and bottom of the swing arm here. And if you aren't using a Pro Tools bender, if you don't have a Pro Tools bender and you're looking to upgrade, this might be the spot where you get hung up. It's not that you can't use these brackets, but you may have to drill your own holes or modify these. Center to center between these two holes is two and a half inches for reference. I've already cracked these two loose, so we'll just remove these and the sleeves and replace them with those brackets and the shorter sleeves that come with the kit. Now we can put our two brackets on and slide these sleeves in between. So now I've just left these snug so they can move around just a little bit, but we'll slide our swing arm over. And then we can drop our pin through the holes and into the yoke. Once that's done, 
we'll tighten up these two and really snug them down. So once your brackets and cylinder and everything are installed, we'll then thread our line into the top of the electric motor and we'll tighten that down with the pliers. But at the top of this line, there is a ball valve. And it's important that this is compressed all of the way and fits snugly. And you may even need a pliers to tighten this down because if that's not compressed all the way, the cylinder may not return or it may return really slowly. So we've successfully turned our manual tube bender into an electric over hydraulic bender. If you guys have any more questions, want to see specifications, anything like that, please visit our website at tricktools.com. If you have more questions and don't have a Pro Tools bender and want to know if you can upgrade, um, give our guys a call. We'd be happy to help or at least point you in the right direction. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.